This is Mr. Truck here with Kelsey. We're reviewing the 2014 Chevy Silverado, the Z71 off-road package, and we're going to be towing a new Logan Coach Stockman combo trailer. Gonna go for a ride and see what it does. What uh, kind of power does this truck have? It's got 355 horsepower and 383 foot pounds of torque. Well, great, that ought to get us moving down the road. We'll see how well it tows. Alrighty. This interior is great. I've got shots of that already. The stitching on it looks like high class. Big improvement. Well, it's one thing I guess I didn't talk about how that outside door edge goes underneath the roof now where it used to go over the roof. Mm -hmm. And that makes a big difference in how quiet it is. Triple sealed, but this truck is remarkably quiet. I should probably turn the fan down a little so you can see what the interior sounds like. Great acoustics. The Bose stereo is great. Had it cranking up. Now this one, you can get these towed, uh, rated to tow well over 11,000 pounds. This has a 308 rear end, so we can only tow a little over 7,000 with it. Uh, the trailer's rated 12,000 pounds, so we've got all the capacity in the world. We've got one horse in here, so we're, we're probably not, not beating 4,000 pounds much right now. The seats on these trucks are remarkable. The sides heated and cooled, and a heated steering wheel, which is a lot of fun in the winter here in Colorado. But the seat Besides heating and cool, it also vibrates. It's the lane departure system. There's a camera underneath each mirror that reads the lines. It can actually tell you, you know, what the newest paint is if there's three paints on one line. And so if you cross over the left side, it'll vibrate. You think that would uh, would be helpful going down the road? That you thought it, you were swerving? It does. <laughs> I mean, it definitely alerts you. Yeah, I, uh, I'm in Wyoming, you know, and I, I drive all around the country, and I, I, that thing showed me how often I swerve on the road because I had both sides vibrating. You know, I'm daydreaming and wandering all over. But, uh, it also vibrates if you're, it's got a signal that shoots out the front and the back, and if you're too close to the back, it shows an indication on your dash that tells you you're too close, and it actually gives you lines, and you can adjust where that is. Same way on the front or the sides. If you like, when I go through McDonald's drive-thru, it'll tell me if I'm too close. Here we got a bicyclist tell us he's going west. Bicycles everywhere. So when you're pulling a you know a trader of the truck, you've got to be very vigilant about what's how all around you because there's a lot of things happening. Great view of the mountains here. Now this you can accelerate what you want to, what you feel comfortable with the horse. I know you don't want to race with a horse on the back. But this has the variable valve timing, it has all those things to help you with power and fuel mileage. This is a 5.3. It's still the same numbers they had, but they changed in 2014 for more horsepower and torque, and the variable valve timing, and it's cylinder deactivation, which General Motors has, has quite a, has had quite a while, along with the uh, the E85 on the fuel. But this one uh, goes to four cylinder, and a four cylinder going through Wyoming, you know, without a trader, I mean, I could hit 30 miles to the gallon, which is awesome, you know, for you know, just goofing around using it for a car. And a lot of people use their truck in a car. You can't afford both anymore. So you use your truck for everything. But, uh, you know, got it up over 30 in four-cylinder mode. And I actually, even with the trader going downhill, a lot of times it would hit that. And then, in the normal driving with it, I got, you know, still beat 20 miles to the gallon. And with this trailer on the back, this Logan coach, picked it up in Logan, Utah. And, you know, of course, I'm averaging 11 miles to the gallon. That's just how it is with traders. Once you're wide open throttle, you're, you're stuck with whatever fuel mileage you get. How about the handling? This is electric uh, uh, rack and pinion steering. Is it easy to steer? Light, it's, heavy? It's light and it moves nicely. Yeah. I don't, I don't have to crank on anything. It's very free. Yeah, there you go. And these seats fit me about the best. A lot of GM seats will make me angle to one side or not to get the bolsters right. And this one actually, everything fit on it. It's got the electric uh, lumbar support on it. So I've been playing this a lot in the last 1,200 miles. 
I still wish they'd move the brake controller over to this side. Yeah, the good brake controller, but they did move it up and you can see it better and probably can, can grab it fairly easily now. And I'm in here with my you know smaller cowboy hat. This is my truck hat. And I'm not hitting the headrest yet, and I've got room on top. This also has what's new for this year is telescoping steering wheel. It has both tilt and telescope. Not sure why it has two levers, but that's what it has. This has trailer sway control too, which is nice, which of course you know you gotta be pretty wild with it before it kicks in. But it does have all that. So I guess you know in the old days I always wanted a brake control on this side, so if I had to grab an emergency, I could hit the trailer independent of the truck. Well now with trailer sway control, you don't have to do that as much as we used to to control it, you know. I still like to use a manual control on the mountains, going around curves and coming downhill. But I'm still used to the old school. Electronics are taking over. Yes, they are. This is more of your generation. You can talk to this thing. You can do all kinds of electronical things, and I, I don't understand most of it. But it's got a lot of a lot of things to do with music and your phone, your all that stuff. Of course, this has all the OnStar. Yeah, it's, that's why it's got such a big mirror and giant box behind it. A little kind of a smaller windshield on it. They put a spotter mirror on that side. I wish they would put one on this side. I mean, yeah, and this is one of those mirrors. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Why would you ever do that? Of course, it's a car thing, but I always change those out when I'm pulling traders. I like to know the trader looks the same both ways backing up. But this is pretty quiet. I don't know if you've driven any other Chevys lately or GM products, but this is... Uh, this is very quiet. Yeah. It's different not to hear the motor when you're pulling a trailer. Yeah, that's right, because, you know... That's very good. It's a good point, because, you know, you're at the higher RPM band, which is going to make more noise, and this is... This is doing fine. These are Brenda up back there. I haven't seen one of those around. And lots of things you haven't seen in Walk, Colorado. Yeah, this is uh, kind of the Richie part of the world. You're kind of like a Parker area. Uh, not as bad as Parker, but almost. Yeah? Well, it's nice that all your neighbors have horses. That would make me happy. <laughs> they at least understand what you're doing. So for these guys on bikes, I'm not sure they know what horses are. They're just yeah. all over the place in those bikes. Yeah, it also has stability control. GM has a special name for it, but that's electronic stability control, so a truck handles well even empty because the truck out loads in the back are kind of weird on the way they move around. Stability control keeps that back end lined up. It has all the features, you know, it's like driving an SUV. It's a very smooth ride. This, you know, it's a half ton, so it's got a half ton ride. It's uh, smooth. It's got outlets everywhere. It's got USB ports. There's 212, there's 110, there's a bunch more inside the console. You have to spend your first day just playing with all the gadgets, toys, and buttons and see what they all do. Yeah. And this has got the pedal adjustment so you can move your brake pedal and gas pedal in and out. Mm -hmm. You can get very comfortable in here. 2014 Silverado. On the crew cab, they made the doors larger and they got more leg room in the rear seat. On the bed on this new 2014 Silverado, they've made the tailgate lower easy. It has a strut in it. And then you can actually uh, put your foot into the bumper and you've got a handle on top of the bed, which makes it easy to climb up in. So much better than climbing on your knees. I'm getting too old to do that. Kelsey makes it look easy, but that is nice. Climb back out once for us. Good way to climb in the bed. On this new Logan Coach Stockman combo, it's a combo because it is a tack room. But this is heavy duty stuff. You can put your big steers, your bulls, your biggest horses in there. On the front nose, you've got a nice rock guard made out of diamond deck plate. And then, of course, on this side, you got extruded aluminum, you got an escape door. And everything you see that's in black is steel and everything looks shiny as aluminum this is a combination the steel is galvanized and it's vortex coated so it's like a bed liner and then of course extruded slats on the side make this a really good looking trailer make it pretty to haul the horses in very heavy duty trailer the, the stockman and this is the combo
Why does Logan Coach Stockman be in the combo? It has a tack room in the front. So you've got a place to put all your valuables that you can lock up. It's got uh, saddle racks, I think it's for four. Big blanket bar, bridle bar, and a giant latch on the door for big hands like mine. Now the saddle rack, it's got room for four. It's on a strut, so it pulls right out. So you can place, space your saddles wherever you want to, remove some of the racks. And it's awesome. Big tack room door, this is nice. The handles I like for my big hands, and you got a shelf there for your tack brushes. You go in here, of course there's the saddle rack. That swings out. You got blanket bars, you got the bridle hooks, which is all very nice. And it's a padded wall, so your bridles, your halters are going to clang on you. And there's your blanket rack. And in this, besides your breakaway battery, emergency battery, you also got your junction box. So if you need to work on something, there's your first place to go check things out. A junction box for your trader wiring. Spare tires in here, which it's a good thing, it actually helps for fuel mileage to not have it sitting on a fender. There's a light in here. Very nice interior in this tack room. Carpet on the floor. You have no problem changing your clothes in here. On this Stockman combo trailer, as I said before, everything black is galvanized steel with a Vortec coating. Everything that's shiny is, of course, aluminum. This is extruded aluminum. Very good looking trailer. The big door. Now this has a butterfly latch and a slam latch. So you can, don't get ran over by the cattle or whoever you're pulling out. It'll actually open up. Which makes it safe for you and all your animals. You don't want to get ran over by the cattle or some of the horses. And that's one thing about having a big door. It's nice for training horses into a trailer. They have all that room to go in until you can get them used to a half door. But I like to back them out even these big doors so that there's no danger so they don't get in a hurry run over you and all that. So I still back them out even though I've got a nice big door. But this is a great trailer for, for training horses and teaching them that this trailer is a safe place to be. And then there's that wonderful floor. It's called the Sure Grip. This is made out of recycled rubber tires. It's the same exact material that you'll see on a playground. And it's got a great grip. So, you know, it's, it's, it was especially good for steers. And of course, the horse, you don't want to slide around in there. But the mats can't slip because there are no mats. You throw those things away. This is a total permanent floor. And all you do is hose it out. The urine runs right through the floor. You can see where it's at there. And we'll film underneath it. But it is so awesome. Sure grip from Logan Coach. Go ahead. Yeah, poor bunch. When Kelsey closes this gate, it'll actually will slam shut and lock it in place. The butterfly latch is just a secondary latch, but that way you can get the gate closed without worrying about somebody coming back on you, you know, especially with steers. So I like this butterfly latch. That's the secondary. Otherwise, you've got a gate and two pins that are spring-loaded for getting them out. He should be fine. I might just turn him, though. Yeah, you know your horse, so whatever you want to do with your horse, that's how you do it. Mr. Truck signing off for another adventure and this is Kelsey signing off. Having fun. <laughs> <laughs>